Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skin Care. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and a lot of you have asked about um, our skincare products and that is where you'll find them. Uh, they're based on a Harvard University study that showed that only pure antioxidants can penetrate your skin. Most everything else just sits on top. So I um, encourage you to visit the website. And I also invite you to follow us on Instagram or Facebook where you'll see a lot of before and after pictures. You'll see a little bit more about who we are and my beliefs in holistic skin care and what my master estheticians can do for you. Today's a little different video. I'm actually going to show you how to put hot rollers in your hair. This was especially requested by Frank, and so I know it doesn't have a lot to do with skin, but hopefully you learn a little something. And I am going to talk about skin and skincare tips during this video. So tune in if you wanna learn a little bit more about how to be beautiful naturally. And at the end of the video, I have a little surprise for you. Um, we're just gonna take you down to the ocean, let you look at the beach, look at the ocean. Um, whenever I look out at the ocean, it gives me so much hope for everything going on right now. I don't know about you, but I can only think day to day right now. I know so many of you are out there struggling. You've lost your jobs, you're losing your businesses, your small business owners like my husband and I, and you're just watching everything you've worked at uh, kind of just seem to go away or you're wondering what's going to happen. But hope is something that I think we all have to keep alive. So at the end, we'll take you down to the beach and it uh, really has nothing to do with the video, but it's just a little B-roll of the ocean. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with putting the hot rollers in. And typically what I do is I dry my hair. I have no product in my hair. I don't like product in my hair. Uh, it can be very drying and with my gray hair, I already worry about it being dry or uh, you can tell sometimes in the videos, it's just all over the place. And um, all I have in is leave-in conditioner. So, uh, and I don't even use hairspray. I think I just said that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and I'll start with the front of my hair and then we'll talk a little bit about skin. Um, let's see. I typically will put the side of my hair to the other side that I want when I, I want it in the end to have a little bit of a wave to it, but I want to put it to that side so that I can start with the lower portion of hair. And my hot rollers come in large, medium, and small. I like to put the large around the front of my face. I hold my hair up as high as I can, and I probably bring it in about a quarter. I started at about a quarter to a half. I roll that around the um, roller. I use a velvet hair roller because I don't want anything to tear or really burn my hair. And then I just roll. Now, I don't do hair, so if I've got hairdressers out there telling me I'm doing it wrong, this is just how I do my hair. Um, and any advice, I guess, for anyone watching is great. I know a lot of people out there are helping loved ones that maybe can't do their own hair. I know a lot of people out there just want to do something to make themselves feel better. And I think it's so important during times like this to get up in the morning, get dressed, uh, and try to make yourself feel good. And um, I know if I just lay around in my pajamas all day, I think I'll get depressed. So I want to just try to do things that make me feel good. And if putting hot rollers in your hair makes you feel good, go for it. Now, I typically love my hair pretty straight. I just blow dried it and I keep it very straight before putting in hot rollers. And sometimes I even have to use a flat iron to get it a little straight because I have really naturally curly hair that as I've gotten older is just more turned into a wave, but it's very thick. And if I put it on without having my hair pretty straight, um, the curls will still come. I just prefer this look. I also think as I get older, I really, I'm 54, I don't love a lot of curl. I think it can almost make me look older. And um, I like it to look a little smooth, a little flatter, a little softer. So I won't leave the hot rollers in long. Now I'm gonna go to the other side and I always do the front of my hair first. 
Now, I prefer hot rollers over a curling iron. I really don't use a curling iron. Um, I have in the past, but I just like that these are a little bit more um, gentle to my hair. So let's talk about skin. Um, I think a lot of people have asked me, or a lot of people have commented that, oh, you know, your salons are in California. I think they know we have two in California, Santa Barbara and Naples, Long Beach. And we have one in Cincinnati, Ohio, in an area called Montgomery, Ohio. And I think they think that because we live in California, a lot of women here are going to the plastic surgeon's office. We're filling our faces with Botox. We're doing lasers and chemical peels. And we kind of get a bad rap. And I think that comes from a lot of the reality shows, like The Housewives, um, which, mind you, uh, these are beautiful women. Um, some of them are really terrific ladies. In the very beginning of the series, some of them came to me for skincare. Um, but you have to remember, this is just TV. It's just like social media or anything else you see where people look really good in their pictures or look really good on TV, but they've also been through hours of makeup and hours of hair. Um, don't hold yourself to that standard in real life. In real life, many of these people look very natural. Some of them look kind of scary. But being a girl from California, having raised my children here, um, I don't inject my face. I don't do lasers. So what I do is I did the whole front, and now I, I'm going to turn a little bit and see if you can see it. I just start in the back, and I like to start on top. And here I'll just use different rollers. It doesn't matter if they're big or small, but I like to use the big ones around my face. And I think I said that I roll them under. So hopefully that is giving you what you wanted to see. And I'll just start to work down my hair um, the best that I can. So many of the women that I know don't do Botox. They don't do lasers. They don't do chemical peels. It doesn't mean that at one time they didn't think about it or a couple of them didn't try it, but really they want to look natural. We live in communities where we're very close to the beach. Not everyone in California is, and that really has nothing to do with anything, except that maybe we're a little bit more active. Um, you know, taking a walk to the beach at the last minute is very normal for a lot of us. Um, like it might be for some of you walking in the woods or walking to the lake. And we really are about natural and healthy. Um, you know, I, I hear people say, you know, Californians, we're all vegans, which we are. My husband and I are plant-based, the best that we can be. Um, and we're all a bunch of granola eating people, but it comes from something. That term is said because we do tend to like to do things naturally. Uh, when we first moved to Ohio to open that salon, and I'm just working down on my hair, Frank. So what I've done is I've gone around and now I'm just working the back of it. When we went to open that salon, my daughter and I were at the mall one day and we looked around and we were so surprised at how young women and older women, women really had a lot of makeup on. They put on their face, if you will. And you hear that term a lot, putting on your face. I remember my grandmother used to put on her face. Well, I remember turning to my daughter and saying, we are either going to fail miserably here or hopefully we're going to be able to teach them to not cover up their beautiful skin and to look beautiful more naturally. Well, here we are almost 10 years later and we've done just that. Uh, in Cincinnati, we are considered one of the top skincare salons in the area probably in Ohio. People come to us from Columbus and, uh, oh gosh, other areas. I'm so terrible that I can't remember these areas right now. But my point is that we taught women how to be beautiful naturally. And I think what I'm trying to tell all of you is you don't have to put on a whole face of makeup to look beautiful. I'm going to bet that many of you, so now I'm towards the bottom of my hair. I've got quite a bit of hair left and I've got a few rollers. I try to get everything in at once and I don't try to be super in order with the hot rollers. Um, so we, you can be beautiful naturally. You don't need to put a whole bunch of makeup on. Let your true skin show. Um, when you do things like lasers and chemical peels, all you're doing is making your skin want to thicken up and protect itself more. 
you're actually hiding the issues underneath layers of burned skin because when the skin gets burned, it calluses to protect itself. It almost becomes shiny. And then as your skin heals, it starts to try to push away some of that old skin cell or that burned skin or damaged skin. And a lot of the issues are still there. They're almost rooted in your skin. We do most of our damage between ages 21 and 22. And if you've ever seen your face in one of those lights that dermatologists use or some skincare facilities use, it'll show a bunch of spots all over your face and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's very purple. Well, that's because you've done so much sun damage and damage to your skin before the age of 21, 22. And then as you're living and getting older, a lot of that sun damage or that those issues are coming up and that's what you're seeing in brown spots or dark spots. I can't tell you how many times I've heard clients say the dark spot appeared out of nowhere. Well, that was a dark spot you had rooted in your skin and it just appeared. When you do lasers and chemical peels and things that are very invasive to your skin, you are actually making a lot of those things worse. Now, yes, some people will lose a few brown spots, but I find that they end up gaining them in other areas because the skin has been so compromised. You also have to keep doing these things and compromising your skin every few months or every six months to get that same shiny, I like to call it kind of a Barbie doll plastic look. Um, just like working out, you want to be natural with your skin. And the more natural you are with your skin, feeding it antioxidants. Harvard University did a study. They showed that only antioxidants penetrate the skin and most everything else sits on top. So antioxidants are like food for the skin. But when you do things that are synthetic or unnatural to the skin, the skin actually gets worse. It's actually going to uh, fight against it and look thicker and older. And I actually think that when I see a woman with a lot of makeup on or they've had a lot of work done, they actually look older. And if you've done stuff, hey, more power to you. Let me help you to make it look more natural or help you to look more natural. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of hair left. I just feel for it and back. I don't really, like I said, I don't really do this in any order. And I'm just going to, I'll just add the rollers until I don't have any rollers left. Um, and you can also just put hot rollers in to give yourself a couple little curls at the end. I'm trying to pull them all the way through so you can see how I do it. Okay, so probably got off track a little bit. Um, a couple things that clients have asked me, uh, just to, you know, to go back to what clients are asking or what people are asking on my YouTube channel. Uh, why do you recommend Vaseline? I've only had a few people say that because it is a petroleum. Well. Vaseline, the brand Vaseline, has a triple, excuse me, dis, distillation process. So it cleans the petroleum, triple, it's a triple process that I think is only um, a process that, that is uh, something they do. Um, I think, what is the word when you um, have something that is only to your standard? A proprietary, thank you Kent. It's a proprietary uh, purification process and it's triple, pro uh, triple process. So the Vaseline in the Vaseline brand jar is pure. It is clean. It is a completely pure uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly in every jar. Remember, they use this on babies. So when I'm recommending something, I'm not recommending something from Amazon that you can get or a no-name brand from the dollar store use real Vaseline. What do I recommend it for? Uh, if you have irritation on your skin, if you have a dry patch, a burn, uh, Vaseline's incredible. It's probably better than Neosporin in my opinion. Uh, a couple people have asked me about cold sores. So what I'll do is, just to digress, I'll start to pull these out the minute I finish the back because I don't like a lot of curl. It looks like it's gonna be pretty curly. And I'll just pull them all out like so. Um, so cold sores. Uh, cold sores are really something that can affect a lot of people. And I know that there are medications people can take, but 
some medications, you know, they get into your system, they really change your system. You wonder, gosh, how long can I be taking this? What's the side effects? Well, what I found is I take a natural supplement, excuse me, called lysine. So it's L-Y-S-I-N-E. And this is actually a vegan brand, but lysine, you can take it every day. It's incredibly preventative of cold sores. I really don't get them anymore. And if I feel one coming or if I uh, touch and I feel like a cold sore is coming and typically they're around here, you can get them other areas too. I'll actually just take another one, but they're very natural. This is a very natural supplement. So lysine is great for cold sores. Um, another person, Lisa, asked me about um, the cuticle. Uh, many of you know I love olive oil. I love to put olive oil around the cuticle. Olive oil will be one of the bases in our new facial oil. Olive oil is an incredible antioxidant and I just like to push it into my cuticles. But another product I loved as a young woman and I recently started using again is Mavala. And I hope to take you to this cute little pharmacy down in Laguna Beach. They have the coolest stuff. I wanna take you all there. But Mavala is what I understand, almost what they put on horses hoofs, which are pure cuticle, just like our nails. And um, it, you rub it in and it makes your nails so strong and it makes them so healthy. So Mavala is M-A-V-A-L-A. -A -A. Um, another thing is deodorant. I am testing some deodorants. I love one by Kapari. It's a coconut. I know a lot of people struggle with natural deodorants. So I'm just, Frank, all I'm doing is I'm starting to pull them all out and I'm just letting it sit. I don't use hairspray, um, but you can certainly hairspray it before you do this. I don't like hairspray because I think Anything like hair gels, hairsprays can really get on the, um, on the skin. So I like to be very mindful uh, of not having extra things in my hair. Um, so you can, I like Kapari, but I know a lot of people don't like natural deodorants. If there's one you love below, go ahead and comment, let me know. But I, I really like it. I like a natural deodorant. Uh, hands and feet. We'll do a hands and feet video separately. Um, a lot of the peels that are out there, I think it's baby feet or different things like that, they peel your skin and your skin feels so soft, but it's almost like a chemical peel on your skin, on your face. And I find that within days, my heels are actually thicker than they were and my skin on my feet is thicker than it was. And that's what happens when you burn your skin or peel your skin or chemically alter your skin. It actually gets thicker to protect itself. That's really what callus is. It's a protection and that's why it's typically on the heels of your feet or on your elbows. Uh, and then my teeth, use baking soda. Baking soda scrubs on your teeth, baking soda scrubs on your face. It's great for your skin and for your teeth. Um, as I said at the end of this video, uh, we'll go ahead and show you a little bit of ocean. I hope you all enjoy that. Uh, it really gives me hope during this time and I think that's kind of our word of the day. I'm trying to think if there's any other skincare things I can tell you today. I guess that's all. I'll pull these last hair, uh, hair rollers out. As I said, this really wasn't about skin, but um, my subscribers mean the world to me. On YouTube, it is so hard to get subscribers. Um, I try to reach out to other YouTube women and sometimes I feel like I'm in high school, like they don't wanna help the new girl and I'm going to remember that when I have millions of subscribers. But um, I also think differently. I don't believe in makeup. I don't believe in anything unnatural, and many of them do. So when you want to learn about makeup and things, go over to their channel. Don't tell me. But, uh, you know, I want to teach you more natural alternatives. So when I get a subscriber, it means so much to me. And I hope that any of you watching right now will consider subscribing. If you're any of my Peaches clients, I know you're seeing me on Instagram or on emails. I'd be so grateful if you would go over to YouTube and subscribe as well because the more subscribers we get, the more YouTube will show our videos and the more people I can help because there's really, I'm becoming an anomaly on YouTube. I don't think there's a lot of uh, real estheticians or people that really take care of skin practically or have practical knowledge of skin and skin care. Um, I actually work with my chemist on products. I actually touch people's skin. I know how to take care of it. And I think a lot of these people are basing their knowledge on what worked on their skin. And some of them are doing some really damaging things. So 
Um, I just comb through my hair with my fingers. You can do anything you want to with your hair. This is just how I do it. Uh, probably a little bit more curl than I would have wanted today, but I like it a little bit better than a curling iron. Um, so subscribe. I know this video is all over the place. Um, I'm really trying to do my best. Uh, again, this is a new platform for me and it means so much that you're tuning in. So I hope you all stay healthy, stay beautiful, naturally and hopefully right now John will just bring you all down to the beach and show you a little bit of the ocean and the waves and the sound and um, you can all feel that there is hope or hope is alive. Hi everybody, um, not really sure where I'm going to put this in the video but I thought that everyone could probably use a nice sunny bright day down here at the ocean. Um, I'm blessed enough to live by the ocean whenever I'm feeling a little negative or a little frustrated during this COVID time. My husband and I walk down here and I listen to the waves and I just look out at the ocean and it really brings me and gives me a lot of hope. So I'm going to have Kent just kind of stand at the ocean.